Alright, here we go. I've been here once. Uvorios the serpent gains mana every second. Once the mana reaches full, the serpent gains a mana shield, absorbs all incoming damage dealt, and deals ice damage to all enemies. Swap. So there's a tank swap. Breeds icy fire, dealing ice damage. Curse the target after a few seconds, target's frozen. Serpent gains mana if the curse is dispelled before the target's frozen. So, freeze, then remove it. Burn the spirit in the area. Remove a portion of healer's maximum mana if healer is hit. Okay. Summon an Azure Beam. Deals ice damage to healer and gives the serpent large amount of mana. Okay, so... Alright, let's see this. This has been the best build I've, I've come into this place with before, so... And a burn. No, thank you. Serpent's Curse, so wait till Frozen. Serpent's Breath. So far, so good, I think. Serpent's Frozen. Alright, this is where I have to avoid those orbs. Oh wait. Or do I? Uh, maybe I don't. Do I get hit by this? Ow, 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 ow. Taking lots of damage. So many healing numbers, oh my god. Am I hitting like 400 targets? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I get this mechanic. This is like an intro to the mechanic, I guess. It's like there's a million things to hit when that happens. Oh, tank swap. Upon reaching seven stacks, we'll gain a massive amount of mana. I didn't even see that. Okay, so seven stacks. That's our limit. again. This time they come from this side. While the beam is rotating. Which means I probably have to go around. Yeah, I have a really strong build going into this compared to last time. Because I could not outheal this in the past. Which was our largest issue. have to watch the seven stacks thing. Oh my god. 
tank is taking so much damage now thanks to that. There's two of them. So why not? Three stacks. Four stacks. I'm just gonna switch now so I don't forget. go oh my god this was such a good run Yeah.